Sagan is there, Ewan is there, Buani is there. Who's going to strike first? Malia. Oh! Matthew van der Poel points to the sky. He remembers his granddad, Poulador. Mathieu van der Poel will be the Mayo Jean of the Tour de France. What a dream. Welcome to stage three of the Tour de France. After two days in a puncher's paradise, it's over to the sprinters as we head from Lorient to Pontivy. There are two minor climbs, the Côte de Cadodal, where Alejandro Valverde took yellow in 2008, and the Côte du Plumelio. But the fast men should still enjoy their first shootout of this year's race on a proper summer's day in Brittany. Five men attacked from kilometer zero and moved around three minutes clear. Edith Skelling, who's been so active these first few days, joined by Cyril Bart, Maxime Chevalier, Michael Shah and Yellow Valais. But accidents are never far away in these conditions. Shoot, shoot, uh, Garen Thomas, three dollar shoot. Garen Thomas uh, calling the crash. Uh, from uh, Jumbo Visma, uh, Hessink in the crash, Tony Martin in the crash. Garrett Thomas is still on the ground. He's one tough bike rider, Garrett Thomas. Thomas, the 2018 winner, clearly hurting his shoulder in this crash, but it was even worse for Jumbo Visma's Robert Hessink, who had to abandon Primoz Roglic, losing a key lieutenant in his bid for yellow. With the help of his teammates, Thomas made contact at kilometre 56, but that crash could have consequences. The peloton staying in total control and keeping the breakaway within a couple of minutes. Lotto Soudal and Groupama FDJ taking turns on the front. They were looking after the interests of Caleb Ewan and Arno Demar. The break now inside the final 100k and reaching the Cote de Cadodal. Time for Skelling to take centre stage. Skelling now goes on the attack. He's going to go for these King of the Mountains points. He jumps away and then we'll see this rider secure five points in total. One more point at the top of the first climb of the day. Well, Skelling was only borrowing that polka dot jersey from Mathieu van der Poel in yellow today, of course, but that point allowed him to take it back outright. Job done for the Dutchman. Bart, Chevalier, Char and Valais forging on. The breakaway riders had little interest in the intermediate sprint in La Fourchette, but it was a nice appetizer for the peloton before the main event. Peter Sagan moves up on Cavendish. Demar is also there. And Sonny Colbrelli, the Italian champion, is first to hit the front. Cavendish is going to go for this, but Ewan on the left-hand side looked like he was the rider who sneaked through, having been quite a long way back. A bunch sprint now looking inevitable, but it was set to be one of the most hectic finals in recent history. David Godu, pris dans la chute, qui se relève. Oh, another crash. More riders at the side of the road have hit the deck. And Roglic is down, and that's a terrible moment for him. They've got the entire team now surrounding Roglic to try and bring him back and secure the time that they need to try and win this Tour de France. Oh, another big crash. 
Loads of riders hit the deck on that turn. Tade Pogaccia there. Pogaccia in the white jersey has also fallen. This is at four kilometers to go, so there will be a split. These riders will not be awarded bunch time. Primoz Roglic chasing hard, game over for Jack Haig. The peloton completely blown apart and there was still drama to come in the final sprint. One kilometre to go. This is playing out well for Carapaz. He's in a good position in the front group as Elpis in Phoenix take over the lead out. They have three still there in the front. It looks like Caleb Ewan is quite a long way back here. Also in the wheels, one rider from the Koinic Quick Step. I'm trying to see who that might be. They're going to lead this one out. Case Bowl is also there. Peter Sagan, Sonny Colbrelli, who is going to sprint and take this race win. What a day for the Tour de France. It is going to be Tim Merlier on the wheel of Alpes in Phoenix. Sagan is there, Ewan is there, Buani is there. Who's going to strike first? Merlier! Oh! Big crash by Caleb Ewan tied up with Peter Sagan there. And it is going to be on the line. Tim Merlier, double stages for Alpes in Phoenix. What a finish. Wow. What a final, what a win for Merlia. Fantastic day again for Elpis in Phoenix. Taddy Pagacha crosses the line, saves time 28 seconds. dream I think uh, when I look uh, after me I can't believe nobody was on the wheel it's uh, really really a dream Tim Malia leading home his teammate Jasper Philipson as Alpes in Phoenix made it two wins in two days Mathieu van der Poel helping to set it up as he stayed in the yellow jersey Alaphilippe is still in green and he's still up there on GC while Skelling recovered his polka dot jersey. Tade Pogaccia was held up in the crashes, but he's still the best young rider in sixth place overall. And we still don't know the full extent of the damage elsewhere. Roglic crashed, lost Hessink, and lost almost a minute to Pogaccia. The defending champion limiting his losses pretty well in the end. He is only 39 seconds off the pace. And sadly, it's the end of the Tour de France for Caleb Ewan. But it was good to see the Australian back on his feet. Thanks for watching and join us again on Stage 4.